Okay, I just want to spend a couple of minutes showing you a page object approach that I've been using recently. Uh, it's a kind of fluent page object approach where some of the methods on the page object return the page object itself. So you can see an action here in this test. This is a test using a slow loadable page and I'll show you why it's using a slow loadable component on this page. This is the page in question. You can see when I load it, when I refresh this, control F5, the page loads and you can see the contact form isn't there immediately so the send button isn't there immediately so we need to do some synchronization on that this was a really good example page that I found on the internet and I'm just using this in this test so here you can see I do the normal slow loadable component page thing we get it it synchronizes then and this has nothing to do with slow loadable components it's just a general page object thing I use that page object page 4 and then I'm setting the name and setting the email, setting the message and sending the message without having to use the page four object in there explicitly because I'm just chaining these methods. And the way I do this is just by setting this method up so it returns a object that the same type as the page object and then just does a return this on here. So you can see we've got the normal page extending slow loadable component and the page method just returns the page. And that allows me in the test to chain it. Now, it's a pretty simple thing, but it allows your tests to be a bit more readable, a little bit more fluent, and um, gain more benefit from these page objects. Now this doesn't mean, I should be clear on this, that I return page objects from uh, methods on the page object by default. Typically I don't, in the sense that I don't return other page objects from page object methods. Like this send message, if when I click on send message, it goes off to a message received page, I would not have the send message method return that received page because I view that as a navigation. And I want the navigation to be, to, I want more control in the tests for the navigation part because I may type in all these details, the name, the email, the message, and there may be an error in here. When I click send message, if there's an error, it may stay on the same page. And in those circumstances, we tend to end up creating things like send message expecting an error, which takes us back to the same page and send message correctly, which returns a, a page object of the received page type. I think that's pretty ugly and clutters up the page. And I don't think the pages should be responsible for navigation. However, I do on page methods return child components. So if I modeled this form as a component on the page, so for instance here, the page has a header, that might be a component, the contact form, that might be a component. I may choose to have a uh, contact form object returned from my page four object because that's a child, that's a component, that's a widget on that form. And then it seems valid to me to return it. So just a few words on page objects and using the return statement to return the page object to make your test a little bit more fluent. Hi, the video you've just been watching is an excerpt from a much, much longer training course. It's about 16, 17, 18 hours. I'm not exactly sure how many hours are on that training course. It's an online training course on Udemy. If you go off to seleniumsimplified.com slash go slash online, then you'll get taken to a page that has all the information you need, or just go off to the seleniumsimplified.com blog itself any one of these icons, the big orange course picture, will show you more details about the course and you can learn more. We cover pretty much the entire WebDriver API in terms of the, the production usage of it, uh, leading from the very basics of navigation through to how to interrogate the DOM, through to how to manipulate the information, how to do page objects, how to synchronize effectively on the page. There's an awful lot of stuff in this course. Uh, you, can find, you can join the course online do at your own pace. This has just been a very small excerpt from that course. So I hope you'll go off to seleniumsimplified.com slash go slash online and get more information about the course.